as you get in the flow of creating things, you will find your niche. You will find what people are looking for and what you're getting more traction in. Hey y'all, my name is Cassie and I want to welcome you guys back to the Butterfly Effect. Now if you watched my last video, we discussed me getting my first sales on my Etsy account. So I started my Etsy, well started selling on my Etsy October the 1st. So October was my first month. So starting tomorrow, which will be November the 1st, that will be the beginning of a new month and I'm going to work on some new methods to try to grow my channel. But today I want to bring awareness because it's not easy trying to grow your Etsy account. As a beginner, the key factor is establishing trust. So if you don't have any reviews or you don't have any sales, it's going to be hard for people to trust you. So what I decided to do was to place my link and some of the items that I posted onto my Facebook because people on my Facebook already know me. I sent out items to some of my friends and my family for them to purchase items. And I got a couple sales from them and that established a line of trust because most people want to see that someone has already shopped with you and that they have already received their items. So now I'm waiting on the items to be delivered to some of my family members that way they can go back and leave reviews. And I ask them to be honest and leave proper reviews because I'm trying to grow my channel and grow my Etsy shop, but I want it to be done right. I want it to be done legit. Normally when you see someone talking about their account, their account is already established. As I told you guys, I'm starting from scratch. It's, I'm one month in. So this is gonna be something that I'm gonna have to do consistently creating products. What that I will be making is in regards to my niche, which is spirituality. Now to each his own, you can have a niche or you can not have a niche, whichever one you prefer. For some people it's hard to niche down um, because they don't know what it is specifically that they want to work on. I would suggest just starting. As you get in the flow of creating things, you will find your niche. You will find what people are looking for and what you're getting more traction in different type of items that you are posting. So if you don't have a niche, don't let that be the reason why you don't start. So many of us don't even begin because we feel like we don't have it all together. And to be honest, nobody has it all together. It's a learning process. Learn as you go, implement the changes as you find difficulties, and then before you know it, the cycle will, I didn't say it will be complete, but you will be more aware. You will have a system. The only way you can create a system is to, at some point, have a flawed system. The system has to be flawed in order for you to start to perfect it. Now, be mindful, perfection, we're not trying to be perfect. We're just trying to get better. And the more you are consistent, the better you will become. So, don't get discouraged about what kind of products you want to create. You can create PDL files, you can create clothing, whatever it is that you want to do, it can be done. If you already have your own product line, those things can be listed on Etsy as well. So for me, a lot of the things that I'm doing is through Printify. So what I did was created a Printify account. Um, I also use Canva, so I create my de design in Canva. Then I will upload it to Printify. And then I, it will automatically upload to my Etsy account. And the process is really simple, but I create most of my designs. Well, all of my designs have been created in Canva. Canva will be your best friend when you're trying to create PDFs, when you're trying to create um, mock-ups for your clothing, that will be your best friend. Even Canva has mock-ups built inside of Canva. Even though whenever you create your design, you're going to get an image of that design in Printify anyways. If you're just starting out or wanting to start, I highly suggest going on to Etsy, researching some of the products that you might be interested in, and see what is what's selling. What is What are some of the key items that's popping up? What are the things that come up at the top of the list whenever you type in whatever it is that you're looking for? So once you started to establish what you want to niche in or what kind of designs you want to create, then you're going to start producing. 
The key to growing your account is to post every day. Create something every day. So if you don't want to feel overwhelmed, I would highly suggest creating a bulk of designs and then gradually post them every day so that way you don't have to feel propelled to create something every single day. I took one day and I created maybe like 10 different designs and every day I've been utilizing those designs to post. And then the days that I don't really have much to post, I will go back into some of my old designs. I will pick out different colors. So for instance, if this was a shirt that was on my account and this shirt is blue, if I had this shirt in, let's say pink, if I advertise the blue today, then tomorrow I will advertise the pink. And every day until I get every color advertised, and that's a way for you to have more content to be able to post and to share with your audience who your target audience is because even if you don't have a niche then you already kind of have in mind the type of people that you want to be wearing your clothes or the type of people that you want to be reading your documents that you're creating your pdfs the type of people that you want to have your paintings in their house or the pictures that you created on their wall you think about that what type of people do you want to buy your product who are you trying to advertise to even if you don't have the products, you have in mind who you want to shop with you. So research that. That's, that's going to be your homework. It's the end of the month, so we're going to do a monthly review. And this is going to be for the last um, 30 days. As you can see, it says this month now. Um, but this right here is my metrics. My conversion rate is 1.1%. I had two orders, 177 total visit. And I made $88 and I think 59 cents. You can see here, um, Etsy brought 26% of my visits. I brought 74% of my visits. And if we stroll on down, you can see that I sold a hoodie. I sold two hoodies, actually. And that's it for today. I want to thank you guys for being here. Go ahead and like and subscribe so that you guys can follow along on my journey and get to know me better. These are a few clips of some things I like to do. As I said, I'm grateful for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy your day.